Hola, como esta? This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. We are an entertainment analysis show that does it better than nobody, if I do say so myself. We basically analyze and dissect all the hot topics, you know, give you the intricate details and basically basketball each other on the table. We also have the most important stuff that happens with the entertainment scene that we also report to you and inform you on. Um, and when I say we, I mean my co-uncles and I have the gang. Quincy Jones and Ifolo Shikei. Wagwan, Wagwan. Hi, Wagwan. people. Quincy, what's up? Hey, oh, wow, see, wow, wow, wow. Where is that? I miss you guys. Oh. Is that Versace? Yeah. Oh, Versace. Like, no, Versace. <laughs> oh, dude, I was, trying to, I was trying to buy a t-shirt yesterday and the, the t-shirt literally read Tim, Tim Bem Lambed. <laughs> I'm not Tim, T-I-M-B-E-M, B-A. M we get it. We, I can tell what you. Timberland. 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 Oh, yeah. And the guy, and then I asked, I'm like, how much with this t-shirt? I see this t-shirt, 7K. I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, but you know, see, I'm a designer. Let <laughs> 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 me stretch out for you. I'm like, really? I said, if you had pull out, you know, go to I Like, I plan to get in fights, you know? <laughs> They were telling me, then pull up, move it here. Like, do I look I like I, I want to go get in fights? <laughs> when are we breaking knives? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how was your weekend? What did you guys go up to? Huh? Um, I have to think about it. I did a lot of out. Oh, dude, yeah. Yesterday, mm -hmm. a friend of mine, AQ, took me to AQ and Loose. They took me to this spot in Lekki. And I literally, I'm not even messing with you. We have to go there. I literally ate the best grilled fish in this entire Okay, existence. you've had me a fish. What? Grilled fish in okay. this entire exam. I'm not even like... Where I, exactly? I went no, you mm, did it. Yeah, you come and show me. Lucky, yeah. Somewhere lucky. Mm. Bruh, I got it for you. Are, Tell me are you sure it's the best though? Because... Okay. <laughs> what? Are you sure it's the best? Bro. Nick, dude, I've been around the block. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. What about and you, Finn? Oh, then, sorry. You're not doing Then there was clubbing. I, mm -hmm. Weirdly enough. I didn't where? Where did you out. go? There was one in Aja, weirdly mm. enough. And then there was one in Legs. Legs. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. He's in my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you never called your legs? No, no, Nobody's ever called it. Nobody has ever called it. Nobody has ever called it. Are you being don't... serious? Uh, uh, come legs. On. Uh, no. Ah, this no. guy. Oh, no, Quincy. No. Onis, single. Onis. No, nobody <laughs> did that. Oh, no, it's too short. It's only it It's too short. What? Iwefus. Or LM. Iwefus. What's that? LMB. What's that? LMB. What? What is that? Since we are giving them what, our code. LMB. Vicky. Lamak. Bitch. LMB. Anyway, it sounds like Elash. it sounds like a lash. Like yeah, a lash sounds good. I'm going to Vicky's. Okay, so we're helping you. Victoria. Victoria Island. I'm going to Vicky's. <laughs> Vicky's. Okay, now can we just move on? Because you guys are just taking a <laughs> anyway, yeah, No, but it you? was legit called a leg. Nah, nothing from to like nothing to speak about on my weekend. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I wasn't feeling too well, so oh. I just recovered this morning and then a little bit of problems again. But I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I think it was malaria in the stretch. Probably hmm. not the thing. Hmm. Probably I'm sorry, what did you just mention malaria? Huh? Hmm? What? Hmm. Ah. Hmm. What? What's wrong? Have you taken the vaccine? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah? no. Have you taken the vaccine? I don't no, have yeah. anything that has to Not do yet. with mine. Uh, I please don't. We can't. We don't do um dialysis on our own. Thank you very much. Until you do a test. Um, don't worry. I'm good. It's stress. Stress malaria. Mm, I feel you, Shah. I feel you. I had three weddings, and we're all from the same set in high school. Clearly, we don't talk to each other because uh, <laughs> <laughs> that should not be happening, guys. <laughs> but it was really cool. It felt like a mini reunion. I saw people I had not seen over 10 years, really. Nice. So that was nice. Really, Please, really quick nice. quick question. Because mm. this happened to me at my last reunion. Mm. The prettiest guy in school at that time, is he still pretty? No! What about the guy? Boom. Oh, no, the I think no, no, we've no, all cut up that time. No, I'm just What about the prettiest girl? She's just not like everybody else. Better I think we've all cut up, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, no, that time, yeah. you just, that time, still, you just, you just be listening and you feel quickly grow past. You just mm, go find mm, anyhow. But there are some that have flourished. I'm like, girl, where have where has What's this that? been? Like, yeah. some people have really... One? Was there any rich one? I think they're all, we're all rich. We're trying our best. I didn't go to... A, oh, you're all rich? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're like on the same level? school did you go to that like, you have really to depends. start measuring wealth? Because we're all good, man. 
Well, let me lie, there's levels, please. Y'all is rich. <laughs> Our rich is rich. <laughs> I knew you was going to do that. There's some people that will say they're rich, and I'm like, okay, I'm definitely poor because. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you know, know, biz yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. Biz dog. You know. yeah. okay, I got uh, we're poor, we're poor. <laughs> See, don't chase away my help, I'm not rich. That's why. <laughs> Alrighty, okay, so um, the episode today, we're going to start with a few. Sad stories, just to get out of the way. Um, uh, I don't know if you've heard about it, but US rapper and actor DMX has died. He died at the age of 50. We've been reporting this on T-Time a lot because he had a heart attack at first, um, and that was for five days. And the performer, whose real name was Earl Simones, had been placed on life support and died with his family by his side. In the statement, his family said he was a warrior who fought till the very end. Earl's music inspired countless fans across the world, and his iconic legacy will live on forever. Then DMX, a.k.a. Darkman X, um, was a leading hip-hop performer who collaborated with such artists like Jay-Z, Ja Rule, yeah. LL Cool J, everybody really. He took his moniker from the name of a drum machine used in rap tracks. The chart-topping artist songs included Party Up, Up In Here, I'm oh gonna let me lose my mind, that one, and X Guns, Give It To Ya. He also acted on screen, appearing in such films as Cradle To The Grave, Romeo Must Die and Exit Wounds. Um, born in Mount Vernon, New York in 1970, DMX publicly battled substance abuse for years and spent several periods in rehab. A father of 15, yes, 15 children. He served, 90, he served jail sentences as well on charges include animal cruelty, reckless driving, drug possession and weapons possessions as well. Anyway, apart from that, he was still very, very much loved. According to his family, DMX died on Friday at White Plains Hospital in White Plains, New York. So he died at home, which is really cool cool for me. He loved his family with all his heart and we cherish the times that we spent with him. This was a statement that they produced as well. So yeah, rest in peace, DMX. Off yeah, to you yeah. guys. They hurt no, me a lot. Is... Okay, go on. Sorry, they hurt me a lot. And then for weird reason, I had a conversation with a friend of mine and we actually both just said, I think he's actually going to die. Mm. I don't know why, but you know. Yeah. A lot of people just felt like maybe this was it. Mm. But I really would have wished he actually came, came out, out of that, it and, then and like, saw yeah. the the madness the mm. chaos in front of the hospital mm. for him it would have been amazing and then a, a, a video of him talking about how he got on crack it just that messed me up so apparently his uh, young boy is about what i think 12 at the time then he's trying to rap and all of that 12 or 14 i don't remember it's so within that age bracket and then, you know, trying to rap, and then he's dropping nice bars. And then the guy he looks up to, and the guy he looks up to actually laced his stuff with crack. What? Countless times, and then he just got hooked on it. Mm. And just messed his entire life up, you know. He cried about it while he was talking about it. Mm. Yeah. Tried to get off it countless times, you know. Moved the whole Jesus way. Mm. It just didn't work out. Yeah, it's not easy. Addiction is not, it's not a joke. It's a problem. Mm. Anyways, um, you know, DMX is that rapper that influenced a lot of our childhoods, Absolutely. especially mine. And I'm, I'm even glad someone like M.I. came out to say that this was the guy who made me want to rap because mm. a lot of people look up to M.I. Yeah. in this part of the world. So yeah. you someone like that. So imagine, and he has a very good career, you know, being a rapper. So imagine other kids out yeah. there that just look up to DMX. Yes, the drug addiction. I think all of us saw beyond that when it comes to DMX, even though we know he had his battles, even though we know there were things that were right in his life. You know, when he came out and he was looking all skinny and stuff and on camera, yeah. a lot of us were worried, but the moment it started spitting bars again, we just forget all so of that just, about yeah. him. So one thing I, I would just say is, um, to me, it's a celebration of life because I think he lived his best life, especially with the amount of people he touched. I know DMX prayer. There was a time when I was feeling like, oh yeah, that's the prayer. This like, guy. if I wake up, DMX prayer, I listen Dude. to DMX prayer one, two, three, and I just put it on replay. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And that's my own form of communicating to God. Yeah. So even man like that could bring me close to God in the type mm -hmm. of way, then imagine how many other souls he's touched. Yeah. This guy's always reading the scripture. So yes, he's an addict, he's an addict, but at the end of the day, did the, uh, did an addict make impact in the world? Yes, yes it did. So it to did. me, yeah. it is a yes, celebration of life. Absolutely. I don't think I could, you could say that any better, but ah, rest Dude, in that, peace. You should, you should be at his memorial, man. Yeah, that, that was great. That felt <laughs> like... No, no, no. That, I felt it, bro. No, like legit. Mm. 
Even dope. watching the video of people when the car, his car, his body was leaving the hospital. Did you, I don't know if you've seen that yes, video. Yeah. yeah. Like the crowd, the vibe, and everything got me really terrible. It was similar to Park and Biggie. Biggie's. Mm. Like so Biggie, similar, yeah. Biggie actually. Because apparently that happened in other cities as well, not just the city that he was in. Like yeah. people gathered around and playing his Yo, song. He stayed and even after he was announced mm. dead. Was when announced they were started doing night like, videos for him, I'm like, okay, this guy has a strong impact. Because I'm not a rap person and stuff, but I knew I knew who he was. But just to see the impact, seeing people come out praying for him and stuff like that, it's it's nice. Please, I want to say something really weird. So he died on what Friday. Mm. On Saturday night, I was at the club. I'm, dude, I'm not even joking. I felt very sad Aww. because no, this is. The, I'll tell you why I was sad. So, we're at the club, and then the DJ moves from Nigerian um, contemporary Nigerian hits to DMX's like mm. a tribute mm. session. So Aww. he just kept on going DMX back to back, and I was losing it. A couple of other guys were losing it. So we're about let's say let me just roughly say we're about seventy in the club, mm. and it's just a pocket of twelve. Mm. people that are really messing with it because it's filled with young people and they didn't know any of it mm. and then when he got to i think it was y'all don't make me lose yeah my we mind. know that one and then they went up oh, in mean, yeah oh, i mean it's like oh finally they play the one i know Dude, it was very weird. I felt like I was super old. Yes, he, he, there, yes is a, there is a generational no. gap. <laughs> I, I didn't. I, I mean, I heard a bit. The of generational him, gap is. I didn't. Yeah, I wasn't that heavily influenced there. by him for sure. No, I wasn't. Well, I won't call it a generational gap. I think a lot of things that happened in his life as well, you know, made him lay back for a while. So even we have people like Eminem. I don't think there's a song of Eminem that won't still be going, even though he had his own issues. But well, it was is given. After him, now, isn't he? Yeah, way after, yeah, exactly. way after so it's him. The time, yeah. It's the time. It's, it's not really the gap. It's the consistency for me. At the time, he, really? he, at the time, he stopped doing it. So we were still listening because they were too legendary for us to stop listening to mm. it. Assuming we had another, you know, DMX drop another album maybe in 2015, 2010, they're about. Yeah, so then maybe we would have been able to connect back, you know. Okay, well, um, I'm yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's another one. Uh, Kian Jared Forbes, a South African rapper better known as AKA, has lost his fiance. Ade Can we talk about We will. Um, Ad it was no entertainment show, but we will. Adele Tembe, An Anele, who's 22, who's 22, is said to have died in the early hours on Sunday, following an accident at the Pepper Club Hotel in Central Cape Town. As at the time of filing this, this report, AKA was yet to comment on Tembe's death. However, police authorities say an investigation has commenced into the circumstances leading to Anel's demise. At the moment, it is said that the singer's fiance fell to her death from the 10th floor of a five-star hotel, um, five hotel. rather. Shortly after the incident, relatives of the songwriter and the family of the deceased released a statement expressing shock over the terrible loss. The family's um, Monique noted that the development has left AKA inconsolable as families and friends are trying to help him come to terms with the sad reality. So, yeah, it, this, this one shocked me. There's a confusion here because... Um at first, you know, this was suicide and people were saying, oh, this is a second suicide attempt and yes. this was a successful one. But most of the statements keep saying she fell to a death. No one is making it look like she committed suicide. Mm. The family released a statement and they didn't say her daughter to, you know, understand, like, it, and the police are saying an investigation. So I'm beginning to think there's more to it than the media is allowed to know at this point, And I believe more will be revealed. Mm, I don't think so. I, I think it's suicide. Um, people just want to be really careful, especially Wait, when um, the people involved hasn't haven't necessarily said that. But I follow her on it's, she's a, she has a private account. But I follow her. I've always followed her. She's she's quite um, a a light. I remember when I used to live there um, before she was even dating him. She's just a very regular girl that you know had a nice personality, beautiful smile, whatever. Um, but she's talked about depression a lot on mm -hmm. her on her Instagram. She's talked about her struggles with it. Um, but I didn't think it, would, it got to suicide. I didn't know about her like attempting suicide before that. But there's been, the reason why I know, no, I know, I don't know. But the reason why I believe that it's also suicide is because she tried this a few months mm. ago 
Um, the, and it's the same jacket that she was wearing, so I don't know. I don't know what don't that. Why. I don't know why that. Why that is. But um, you know, when she tried to commit suicide in Dublin, which is another province state in South Africa, so I think she's she's struggled with that for a long time. Mm. Um, and if you know anything about people who are suicidal, it's not you can't really do much about it, but hope and pray that they, they get out of it. It's a, it's a very personal fight, so, which yeah. is why I, I find it a bit unsensitive when they put the pressure on AKA. Like, I've heard all sorts of things online. I've heard, oh, why you shouldn't even date her because your life is too much for her to handle? Or why do you take her to a hotel because it's too high? See, someone that wants to kill themselves, someone that's d and battling with depression, will do that with either of those circumstances. Thank you very much. So um, I think we, do, we need to do more for people who are struggling. And I don't know what it is. Um, I, was, I'm hoping... I was, I was going to, sorry, I was going to touch on what you were saying as well, um, which is the depression, to be honest. Um, and I think in this part of the world, because of the, the, the culture and the environment and the society, there's a, there's a mentality that that's a white man's issue, mm. you know. Nobody, Sam depressed. I'm gonna go and wash plates. Mm. Do you understand? Like it's, it's just something you look over, right? And this generation, we forget that you, you know, know the level weak, of exposure. You look weak, exactly. Yeah, mm. you look weak. You appear weak, right? When you're not in your best. And you it know, makes no sense. Best. Exactly. Because nobody looks weak when you have malaria. When you have. And it's the same thing. It's like you can't control. There's some things you can't just control Trust biologically. Trust me, be around fathers and say you have malaria. You you're gonna look weak, like Lucia you know, Dina. You know, <laughs> that type of stuff. <laughs> that type of stuff. So it's, it's something we need to take seriously. And unfortunately, we're in a, in a, you can see that reflecting in in our healthcare system. Like there's n almost no available avenue for anything mental. Yeah. Right. It's either you're mad, like proper, like you lost it, or nothing else. Yeah. Or it's just hospital for needles. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much, there's nothing to help you reshape or reframe your mind. And the few people who are doing it aren't making money because nobody's patronizing. Mm. I mean, there is rehab for sure. I think we have that. I know that there is, there are some good people that we have in the country that are trying okay. to, you know, up the standard yeah. and give people the best. I know that there's a very fantastic, I just can't, you not pay me, sorry. But, you know, there's a very fantastic rehab center that I know person that a few friends and family have gone to. That have that they've done really well. The whole shebang, some um, physiotherapists and all of that. Because the first one I heard about, they were just in prayers day, which is fantastic and great. But we need more than proverbs. We need actual toxicology, Bruh. and we need, we need, you know, we need to add everything together. Yeah. So there is a few that are going on. But I absolutely agree with you in the sense that as a culture and even the government as well, they haven't really put that in place. By now, I don't think there should be any school running without counseling there there shouldn't be any organization that doesn't have an outlet for you to go talk like when people lose their families here in nigeria like i noticed that even i not say too much but i've noticed that when a colleague you know lost i didn't see there's not there's there's nowhere to go to here abroad if you lose family you have to do um time at the counseling place to know that you have handled the grief well you can function and all of that we need to get to a point where we're taking that more seriously but more so than anything i think for me with this particular story i think we need to show more love to the people around those who have lost someone yeah. with suicide unfortunately yeah, sure. social media is it's a it's a really weird place um a friend of mine was saying yesterday that you know if you put out a certain personality um the ability to feel sorry in your time mm. of need is absolutely lost yeah and I think that might be what AK is going through. Yeah, I think it's also you just know. a male thing as well. I think we don't allow space. We haven't done a good job. You be are the ones that did that to yourselves, really. But, you know, just creating a space for men to just mourn and be okay with being a mess for a moment. Group? Hmm? Have you seen men grieve? I haven't. That's what I'm saying. At least even publicly as well. It's women that will come and say, oh, this is what happened. This is how I feel. This is, this you know is, what? I you know what? This, you know this what? is the process. This is the process. Imagine. No, that's not actually yeah. the process. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. not the process. That's it's sorry. mostly the process. I didn't get to Come say on. anything. Well, uh, yeah, sorry. really quickly. Sorry. All right, so basically you've said it all, but what I'm going to say is, um, like Quincy just, you know, made a joke out of this. Don't appear to be weak and don't, you know, don't feel like you're weak when you need to talk about your problems. So the bottling up of things is actually what leads to depression. When you're not able to express how you feel about what people are going to think. So whatever you're going to look for somebody to speak to about, you're not going to be seen as weak. Some of us listen. Absolutely. 
Big Brother Africa Season 5 winner Uti Umachuku has said that 90% of Nigerian youths view Big Brother Niger as their only hope of breakthrough. Hallelujah. I'm all this bloody hallelujah, bro. <laughs> Amen. The reality TV star, come media personality, took to his Twitter page to admonish people to stop looking for shortcuts to success. It seems that 90 percent, and I quote now, this is what he tweeted. It seems that 90 percent of the youth view Big Brother Nigeria as their only hope for a breakthrough in Nigeria. But please, I am begging, I am begging you people, stop looking for shortcuts. Whatever happened to earning your spots? Question mark. The way my phones have been ringing for the past two weeks is actually worrisome. Let's not even get started on the DMs. Thoughts, people? Um, one, Uti, keep quiet. <laughs> um, we get that. Yeah, 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 but really keep quiet. Well, what, which one be? Stop looking for shortcuts. Everybody's... Every, the, does this is this dude okay? <laughs> Everybody's out here grinding every single day. You got, you got, you got to be you, a TV bro, presenter because you, know you came out of BBN. Yeah. That's, no, no, that's no, a shortcut. No, cut. no. Um, I want to say Uti is actually hardworking. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He's been able to come back. So Nobody it's one thing So it's that. one thing to go to the Big Brother house. Mm. And it's another thing to come out and make something out of it. That is the process. That coming out of it to make and something out of it. And that's great and well, but if I still saying that, um, you cannot deny that Big Brother Nigeria Excuse is me. a tool. Let me, let Definitely. Let me, let me, that's let why me, I said he should keep quiet. Let me wrap quiet, you real quick. But, let me wrap you. Uh, come so, on. Let's go. <laughs> let's hey. this guy. Let me wrap it come you on. real quick, right? Oh, yeah, no, now, a lot of Nigerians oh. say it like it's, it's actually <laughs> nice. It's ninety percent. Um, Uti is saying ninety percent, and a lot of Nigerian youth. We're going to see it that way. The government is not providing nothing. We don't have the jobs. Even when you find it, the educational system is terrible. They said I just got to realize that there are certain schools that you will go to that nobody will employ you just because yeah. of your school. Yeah. If you like come out with a first class from that school, yeah. they will first go and do background check, go and do all of that. So that's not our problem now that's a that's a system problem right there so if i've seen uti who won five years ago and i'm seeing how well he's doing for himself you live in in a very nice area in mm. victoria island you drive a nice car i see you on television you have endorsement deals and i feel how many how and that many, happens with how many people it is a short so if, if it's apart from, yeah apart from even being a shortcut it is people. a way now for me to put my life in order. So don't call me and be telling me, nah, there are other means. What other means did you do? If you even want to tell me that, come on and tell me, oh, this was what I did, this was what, before I got into the big brother house, I was this, you were nobody, bro. So don't come out and be telling us, look, I I'm trying to go for big brother. That's how I have a job. Do you understand? Yeah. So imagine how many other people that want to go, that that is their only hope and you want to kill that light. You can't mm. do that to people. Mm. I, believe, I wish I wish two things. I wish somebody else said this, and I wish I said it in a different way. If somebody came out and said, guys... I think um, I get what he yeah, was me trying too. to yeah, mean, but yeah. just didn't put it well. Yeah, me too. I, I, think, I think if he, he, said, if he said... You know what? I think he knew what he was trying to say. Yeah. Right? We get what... No, he it's did just, know I think it's from the wrong person, and he because you went he to Big Brother Niger. He should have written it like, for someone else to put it out. He put it out yes, that way intentionally. No, I don't think so. I think he did that intentionally. He wanted to try it again. Yeah, you know, it could changing. be though. Could no, I be, think though. if anything, maybe he wants people to know that he's been discussed. He has his point. He made his point, mm. but took a different route. If somebody else came out and said, "Guys, you know, there's other ways." I mean, Big Brother Nigeria is nice, but still keep at it. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. The da, 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 way you da. said it, my phone. I would understand like, that. I don't even understand, like, and this this even but, worries no, me. Honestly, because his phone uh, that I can probably attest to, his phone blowing up. Because what it means by his phone blowing up is people are asking him how to get calling, in, of yeah, course, calling to help. But you know, there's no shortcut yeah. to get into. I that. know a particular person that once is this big brother period, the person vanishes. But you know, there's no shortcut. Mm. Literally, light the phone, Twitter. <laughs> how did they tell you? Mm -mm. <laughs> because of the phone call. But there's no shortcut actually. You have to say that with your full chest, though. Yeah, yeah, you have yes, to. You yes. have to say it with your full chest, chest because you don't know. You don't know that. You cannot say you, that with your full chest because you don't know I don't if there's know. other people that have gotten in there with short cuts. There is no short mm. cuts. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have. You, what see, you say I have. Mm. I have the biggest like short phrase. cuts. Mm. Eh? I have the biggest it's short like your cuts. Your short cuts not short enough. My, my short cut is too short. It's not short enough. You think? Okay, is that person? Is that person on top of the food chain? 
Yes. When I created Big Brother Nigeria. Exactly. Uh -huh. exactly. Uh -huh. So your shirt got. Well, you want to say it? <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but uh, I know what I'm saying. Did, but... Have you ever heard that song where Ariana Grande said like, um, if you if your money can't solve your problem, your money's not big enough. Have you heard that saying from her song? Mm. I'm telling you now, if it just because you have a leg that cannot do anything for you, doesn't mean that there are no legs in there <coughs> that can do things for other people. Oh, Adisha. Okay. Mm. Laugh Adisha. upon you. Laugh Me, I would just say my thoughts on this is that go for Big Brother Niger. If Use you your sweat if and blood. You, if you get paid. Enter if you can. Yeah. And, and if you know somebody prepared. that their money is big enough that to solve their short, problem. Their short leg is short enough. Yes. Go in, do your yeah. thing. But I think make sure that you're obviously well prepared. You've thought about that. You, I think by now we've seen Big Brother Niger happen too many times. to so know what the gist is about. If you can analyze and really critis critically analyze that that's what you want to do with your life and that you can handle all of that, absolutely go for it. It's a game of luck anyway. So you might get in, you is might not get really? in. Yes, for the most part. Game of luck, because how many people would apply and people would get in? It's not luck. True. Okay. So apart from... Even winning is a game of luck. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. We need to take a break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.